Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the clone stamp tool to take a sample of an image, which you can then clone into another image or into another section of the same image. Each stroke of the tool paints more of the sample pixels that you select. Now to use this tool, first select it from the tools palette and then set your desired brush settings up in the options bar. Give it a click, you'll see that it shares a spot with the pattern stamp tool that we'll be talking about shortly. We'll go up into the options bar and we're going to clone this flower. I think that 35 is a fine brush size for what we're going to do. We'll leave all the other settings just the same. Then you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and then click on the area that you want to use as the reference point for the pixels that you want to copy to another location. We'll start right here in the center, Alt, and give it a click. After you release the Alt key, then you click and drag with the tool in the area to which you want to copy the pixels that you clicked. As you click and drag, you'll copy the pixels from the selected area to the new area, recreating a clone of the original area that was selected in a new location. We'll come over here and we'll start to click and drag. Now as you do this you'll see the crosshairs are in the original location so you can use those as a guideline to select just the pixels that you wish to clone create an entire clone within that image. And that's how you use the clone stamp tool. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.